a variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 21 and a standard deviation of seven. Let's record this information below on the normal distribution curve shown here. Because the mean or mu is 21, 21 is at the center of the distribution, which is here. And then the horizontal axis is scaled by standard deviations, which is seven. To the right of 21, 21 plus seven is 28. 28 plus seven is 35. 35 plus seven is 42. To the left of 21, 21 minus seven is 14. 14 minus seven is seven, and seven minus seven is zero. For part A, we're asked to find the z-score for x equals 25. A z-score or standard score is a number of standard deviations. A specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. And we calculate the z-score using this formula here. Notice how the data value of x equals 25 is approximately here on the normal distribution. And therefore the z-score is going to be somewhere between zero and one. To find the z-score, we start with the data value, subtract the mean, and divide by the standard deviation. Or we can say the z-score is equal to the quantity x minus mu divided by sigma. So for all these problems, because the mean is 21, mu is 21, and because the standard deviation is seven, sigma is seven. And then for number one, we know x is equal to 25, and therefore the z-score is equal to, again, the quantity x minus mu divided by sigma, which gives us 25 minus 21, and this difference is divided by seven, which is equal to four-sevenths, which we're told around to the hundredths place value. Four-sevenths is approximately 0 0.57. So on the standard normal distribution, the corresponding z-score is approximately here, 0 0.57. For number two, we're asked to find the z-score of x equals 13. Notice x equals 13 is here on the normal distribution. Notice how the score of x equals 13 is more than one standard deviation below the mean, and therefore the z-score is going to be less than negative one. So the z-score for x equals 13 is equal to the quantity x minus mu divided by sigma, which is 13 minus 21 divided by seven, which is equal to negative eight divided by seven, which is approximately negative 1.14. Looking at the standard normal distribution, a z-score of negative 1.14 is approximately here, which again corresponds to the x value of 13. And now for the next three questions, we are given the z-score and asked to determine the value of x or the data value. And because a z-score indicates the number of standard deviations, a specific data value is from the mean of the distribution, which means we can determine the data value or x by starting with mu or the mean and adding the z-score times the standard deviation. For part c, what value of x has a z-score of 1.6? So a z-score of 1.6 is located approximately here on the standard normal distribution, which means the data value or x is 1.6 standard deviations above the mean, and therefore x is equal to the mean of 21 plus the z-score of 1.6 times the standard deviation of seven, which is 32.2. And notice how x equals 32.2 is approximately here on the normal distribution, which we can see is 1.6 standard deviations above the mean. For part D, what value of x has a z-score of negative 0.8? A z-score of negative 0.8 is here on the standard normal distribution. The corresponding value of x is equal to mu plus the z-score times sigma, which gives us 21, and then we have plus negative 0.8 times seven, which we can just write as minus 0.8 times seven. We are subtracting here because the z-score was negative, which is 15.4. So having a z-score of negative 0.8 
corresponds to x equals 15.4, which is approximately here. And then finally for part E, what value of x has a z-score of zero? Well, the score that is zero standard deviations from the mean is the mean itself, which is 21. So the mean always has a z-score of zero for the normal distribution. I hope you found this helpful.